One of the key factors in wokeism is just regular people, citizens, not necessarily the government, just regular people going after, attacking, calling out, mobbing, Twitter mobbing, sometimes physically mobbing people that they disagree with, people who aren't quote unquote woke, right? People like me, people like you, even people on the left getting mobbed by the woke mob. There are so many examples. The host of The Bachelor got mobbed by the woke mob. He lost his job because of the woke mob. Why? What was his incredible sin? There was a contestant on The Bachelor, a female contestant, who at one point in her life, early on in her college career, had gone to an antebellum-themed party. By the way, the word antebellum, a lot of you know, is related to the Deep South, and antebellum actually means pre-war. So it is the pre-Civil War South. And in the pre-Civil War South, there were certain things that the way people dressed, the way people spoke, and one of those things is women wore big frilly dresses and went to parties, right? Not because they were slaveholders and not everybody was a slaveholder, but that's what women did. So these, this young woman went to a party and she wore one of these big frilly Southern dresses. Probably drank some Southern comfort too, right? It was probably a good party. But this is against the laws of the woke. And so when it was found out that she had done this back in college, uh, and by the way, she had, this is important to the story, she had been chosen on the show by a black bachelor and she was a white woman. Right? So this is a beautiful interracial couple. Nothing racist about this woman, except for she had gone to this party back in college. And the host of the show, apparently, according to the woke mob, had the audacity to say when she got attacked, hey, we should give her some grace. Like we, we should withhold judgment, right? You know, I, I don't know any of the, the story around it, but we should just chill out and give her a second, give her time to breathe, give her room, give her time to explain. Even that I think is ridiculous, but he was trying to practice a culture of grace, which is something that we've had in this country for a long time. The idea that people can make mistakes. I'm not even saying what she did is a mistake, but the idea that people can make mistakes and then be forgiven privately and publicly. And he was viciously attacked for this. This was a, a sin against the religion of wokeism. He was not allowed to say such a thing. He was not allowed to suggest such a thing, to speak about such a thing publicly. And he was crucified for it. He was removed from his duties as the show host. And you know what he did? Instead of standing strong and saying, hey, come on, I'm just practicing a little grace here. He took a knee. This is one thing you should never, ever do before the woke gods, before the woke crowd, before the woke mob. Don't take a knee. Don't bow before false idols. Nothing good comes of it. I don't know what he thought. Maybe he thought he would be forgiven. Maybe he thought this whole thing would just blow over, but it didn't. They still demanded his head, demanded his job, and he has lost at least one of his hosting jobs. Unbelievable. And by the way, the bachelor who dated this young woman also initially said, that we should just cut her a little slack and give her some grace. Remember, this is the woman he chose on the show, right? And so he said we should give her some grace. And then he turned around, and when the woke mob came after him, he threw her under the bus, literally. So all of these people threw this poor young woman under the bus. That's the kind of stuff that the woke mob does. I'm here live in Philadelphia at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. When you hear the phrase, lives, fortunes, and sacred honor, these are the folks we should think of, those who anonymously gave their lives. Well, today you have a chance to volunteer. You need to volunteer for conventionofstates.com, the movement that's going to save the country. These folks were willing to step up and give everything. We need you to give just a little bit. Go to conventionofstates.com and volunteer today.